Hey guys, I just got some uh, contraband in from eBay and I wanted to show it. Um, it's a Jacobs 18 in Chuck and it came in this morning. Look at the size of that. Anyway, uh, I use a Morris taper MT3 um, taper for my drill press and my lathe. And my lathe hasn't, doesn't have a chuck, so I took the, um, the chuck off of my drill press and I've been using it on the lathe. And anyway, it's inconvenient to be swapping them back and forward. Um, the other chuck that I have is a smaller size, and I'll show you that here in a second. And so this is a bigger one that I'm going to be using. And that way, I'll still be able to swap them if I get in a jam, but I'll have two sizes to work with now. Okay, this is the chuck I already have. Um, it's also a Jacobs chuck. Let me see if I can get the number in here. 3402. Anyway, this takes from zero to half inch bits. And I mean, this is a really good chuck. It's probably the right size for a machine this big. Um, look at this one up next to it. Wow. It's quite a much bigger. Um, the reason why I got this is because I wanted to get the capability of... Um, using the larger drill bits if I need to, specifically useful on um, for my lathe application if I want to um, open up a big hole that requires like secondary operations like boring or um, it's helpful to be able to remove as much material as possible using a drill bit instead of uh, a boring bar because you have to take very small passes with the boring bar. So anyways, look at the size difference on that. It's incredible. Um, if you want to take one of these chucks out of a spindle like this, you can see inside of there, this little tail on the um, on the taper, it sits in there. You can see there's a little bit of a recess, so it looks like somebody's like smacked around this one a couple of times. But there's a special tapered tool you can stick in this hole and then pop it, and it creates downforce, and this will drop out. Um, obviously, you want to be held on to it when it comes out. Okay, this is my laid tail stock. Right now, I have a live center in here. This is has some bearings in it, allows this to like pin the the end of the work and allows it to turn and it kind of holds it, stabilizes it in place. Just take that out. I'm gonna stick it right here and grab this. I'm hoping this fits up. Okay, there we go. Now we're seated. Now you can see I can stick a pretty good sized drill bit in here or different tool or whatever. And um, the extra quarter inch um, capability allows me to use some tools in here also a tap or die or I don't know some other tooling you could make it so get a little bit more capability another thing that's kind of convenient is that my rotary table here uses the same size so I could use pretty good size stock like if I had something that was like up to three quarter of an inch you can stick it in here stabilize it and then it makes it pretty easy to hold small work and then I can rotate this table to wherever I want it to go and then take a couple passes on it to create facing or do other things uh, here at the milling machine. This chuck didn't come with a key. This one uses, uh, I think a K4 is what they call it. And so anyway, I order one on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. So I really can't um, show it, demonstrate it. But um, anyway, it'll be useful to have this. So any, anyway, I just wanted to show this. These are um, pretty expensive, uh, I think new. I don't know exactly what they cost, but it's several hundred dollars. I got this one on eBay for about 65 bucks. Um, some of the stuff you wanna look out for is if you could see in the pictures, in the ad, I mean, you obviously don't want any like marring or like visible damage to this area of it. Um, also, usually the sellers will explain whether or not this chuck spins freely or if it has if there's any difficulty um like articulating rotating this this part of it um there, this specific chuck has um ball bearings inside of it and so it makes it easy to open and close and i think it changes the um the capability the clamping force um for this chuck uh, one of the things the guy did that sent it to me is he coated it in some kind of wax and so it um it helped with in the transportation to make sure there wasn't any um corrosion um although it only took like 
want to say one or two days for it to um, arrive. So that's all I got for this uh, for this video. Just want to show this real quick. Um, if you have any questions or want me to ask any anything about the chuck or want me to show something, let me know and I'll make another video. Thank you.